Yeah, firstly, Gary, where do you think the side went wrong tonight? Um, I think, obviously, you know, three ethics I, I was going to run by tonight was be positive, keep the ball and work hard, and I don't think we've done any of them three. Um, I think I think the way we set up was right. I just think the manner we went about it was totally wrong. Um, we didn't get the first ball, we didn't get the second, and like I say, when we had the ball, we didn't keep it. Yeah, I can tell your voice is some disappointment. How are you feeling? As you can imagine, very disappointed, um, especially in the, the first 45 minutes. I don't think I've ever, in all my years involved with football, been involved in the 45 minutes like that, when, you know, we rolled over. Especially at home, you know, you can't do that. Um, especially for a team that's fighting for their life. You know, they come, they were organised, they scrapped, they fought, um, they took the chances very well. Um, yes, there was a couple of individual errors, but you've still got to be in the right place to take them. But as far as the first half goes, really, really, really disappointed. Yeah, you said you're disappointed. Um, is it even more disappointing that the side couldn't follow on from that brilliant performance on Saturday? Yes, ultimately. Um, you get a performance like that on Saturday against Moscow with a very good football inside and a very good setup, and then you come against a side like Newton Aircliffe, a bit like ourselves, um, and that's where you, you would hopefully expect to, to go on and take three points. And again, to take you into a game on Saturday, which is Son and RCA again, a team like ourselves. And you hope that you want to put a little a little win together, a little run together, three or four games maybe this time of the season, and can get you up in the, the mid-table spot. So it's, um, it's been a disappointing night. Do you think the nature of the first half, i.e. the fast pace of Newton Aycliffe on the break, um, did you think it took the game away? I think on occasions, on maybe two occasions, yes, but I think also naively from ourselves. Like I say, there was a couple of individual errors again, um, which seems to be hitting us hard at the minute. There was one, an own goal on Saturday, and then there's a goalkeeping error against Newcastle Benfield that caused us three, uh, at least a point, sorry. So, not necessarily through Newton Aircliffe's doing, I think through ours, you know, just lack of communication when players are running at you, um, passing the runner on, and, and closing the space down. I think we, you know, ultimately we, we let ourselves down badly tonight. Yeah. Um, obviously been beaten 4-0 at home um, by a side lower than yourselves will be inevitably a big blow to the side's confidence. How can you keep their heads up ahead of the game at the weekend? Again, um, I've just told the lads, I don't believe you'll become a bad side or a bad player over 45 minutes. Um, obviously there's issues we need to look at. Um, I thought before tonight we have been solid in defence and um, quite creative up front and I thought tonight that just went the opposite way. We weren't solid in defence and I don't think we've created much much up front. Um, obviously going in at half time, four, uh, three nil down, you know, you've got to try and jay the players up. Some players respond and some don't. Um, it's now up to the to individuals and myself to obviously get the belief back in the side. Uh, and again, it's going to be the same, similar sort of game on Saturday against Sunderland and RCA, uh, who are down there scrapping for points as well, as well as we are. Um, so again, the lads will just have to go away, have a good look, good think, um, and I'm looking for a massive response on Saturday. Yeah, finally, are there any positives you can take out tonight's performance? There's a positive I can take out, is that we've only got three days to wait, to put it right. Alright, thank you very much. No bother.